there, it's Sandy Allnock for simonsaysstamp.com and today I have a slightly different Copic video for you. I wanted to use the recent release of papers and inks from Simon Says Stamp and compare them with Copics and I'm using the Whimsical Flowers stamp set and the Mod Window die along with it. So I'm going to show you some Copic technique along with my discoveries in my matchy matchy efforts here. I compared coloring all these flowers with the papers and tried to really find the right colors. Lemon Chiffon works with Y11, Burnt Orange, E08, yes, an earth tone color. And on each one of these, the center of the flower is actually one coating of this color is the actual color that matches the paper. So I have some shadows around them with multiple layers of the color. Lavender BV00, Soft Navy is a perfect match for B99. All of this is going to be on the blog, by the way. Fog matches W1 perfectly. The smoke and slate get into a little bit something different, and that is that the perfect color for the smoke is N3, the neutral, and for slate it's T, toner 6. The, I've given you the alternates for the uh, cool gray and the warm gray, because that's what most people have. That's what's in the paper craft sets that most people buy. So there you go. The quick technique that I wanted to show you is if you only have one color and you have a really simple stamp like this, it's not too hard to get some dimension by only using one marker. And that's by coloring over top of itself a couple times. It doesn't work when you're doing a whole lot of detail necessarily because it's really hard to do, but on a big bold stamp like this, I can just lay down one layer of the color first, let it dry for a second. That's why I'm doing two flower petals at a time and then add just a little bit right along the edge where I want the shadow to be. And as you saw in the flowers earlier, I got some pretty good dimension on most of those flowers, and that's all by using one color of the marker. You can go over lighter colors multiple times, but with like the E08, you really don't want to go over it a million times or you'll end up with a really muddy dark brown. To smooth everything out, I'm just using the side of the marker to do a quick flick over top of the whole thing. And by the time it dries, it's nice and smooth. For the centers of the flowers, I cheated. I didn't color in the little circles on the flowers. Instead, I took a strip of paper and I'm using that same B99 marker. And I laid down one coat of the color and now just laying a shadow down and then going over top of the whole thing, which is gonna start to blend out as it dries. And I'm still gonna end up with some stripiness and I don't want you to panic if you get stripies because you can see I've left some of that here because I'm only using a tiny portion for my flower centers. And that just laid down a little bit of that dimension for me to start with. I'm adding with my zero marker, a bunch of highlight dots. How easy is that? It's, I, my boss used to call it smoke and mirrors. <laughs> if you dazzle people with something, they'll be busy looking at those little dots and they won't even see the lines that were created. In the dark shadow areas, I'm also adding dots of the B99 back in on top of it, which is gonna add some texture in the dark areas as well. And it makes it really easy to just do a whole bunch of flower centers all at the same time and then add them to my cards. Here's the finished card and with the flower petals, I just curled them a little bit around my finger to make the petals curl forward. You could also curl them backwards. And I popped the centers of them on power tabs, which are uh, not as thick as most dimensionals, but they're really sticky and they, they just give a really nice effect on this. The strip of the mod window is something I know not everybody has the patience for, but what I did was punch it out of a couple colors and I put across the back of each one of them some scotch tape just regular old scotch tape. And then I put each of the pieces back in, in the pattern that I wanted. Kind of had to do some random figuring out where I wanted each piece, but I think the effect was well worth the time that was spent on it. This is a horizontal version of the same card and just did the same thing, curling my little flower petals. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button and make sure you subscribe to Simon Says Stamp here on YouTube and get lots more video ideas. Thank you much. Have a great day.